Of all the volcanoes in Iceland, the most infamous has to be Eyjafjallajökull, located just north of Skoar in the southern part of the country. The volcano first formed an estimated 780,000 years ago, and to this day is considered one of the most active in the world. In March of 2010, roughly 3,000 earthquakes were felt in the areas surrounding the volcano, a clear sign that something might be looming on the horizon. Not long after, the volcano erupted following nearly 200 years of dormancy. The resulting ash cloud ended up being the highlight of this whole event. It traveled southeast towards Europe and ended up heavily disrupting air travel for approximately 10 million travelers over a six-day period. The eruption lasted for many months, with periods of lessened and heightened activity. In October of 2010, scientists finally announced it was over, but given the geothermal activity of the area, that it would likely erupt again. A subglacial volcano is an unusual natural phenomenon, most commonly observed in Iceland and Antarctica. According to geologists, the heat of the lava causes the overlying ice to melt, allowing the water to rapidly cool the lava. This results in a phenomenon very similar to what we can observe in submarine volcanoes such as Hunga Tonga. With a population of nearly 150 million people, Java in Indonesia is the world's most populated island. On this island also lies Mount Semeru, one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Part of the reason for this has to do with its location. Semeru is located on the Alpine Belt, a chain of mountains between Java and Sumatra and one of the most seismically active places on our planet. On December 4th of 2021, Mount Semeru erupted for the second time that year. Video shot by locals shows the moment right after the eruption occurred, causing a large cloud of smoke to cover the skies and advance towards a community living a short distance away. The video picks up shortly after the eruption and captures locals frantically trying to escape the wall of debris advancing towards them. Oh. Oh, A massive wall of smoke and ash is about all you can see towering in the distance. The sheer size of the eruption is enough to make anybody feel like the world is ending. Just imagine seeing that out your window where you live right now. Spooky, ain't it? Thankfully for those in this video, the volcano was still far enough away to allow everybody to escape uninjured. Just a few hours later, the village was coated in a thick layer of ash. The eruption caused about 3,600 people to be displaced, and while the government was quick to provide relief, I'm sure it'll be a while before people feel comfortable moving back home. The December 2021 eruption was Semeru's largest in recent history, and one that came with little warning. Krakatoa Volcano is one of the most famous on Earth. 
This caldera is found in the Sunda Strait between the islands of Java and Sumatra and is part of a volcanic island group. The eruption it is perhaps most famous for occurred back in 1883 and took the lives of tens of thousands of people. To this day, it remains one of the most violent volcanic events in recorded history. In more recent years, Krakatoa has shown some serious signs of activity, and it all came to a head in 2018. On Thursday, October 25th of that year, photographer Martin Rietze captured the moment the volcano blew its top. The video you're about to see has become one of the most iconic eruptions ever caught on camera. The video features multiple nighttime eruptions in stunning clarity. Each time, molten rock rains down the sides of the mountain. Roughly two months after this video was taken, the volcano experienced an eruption on a scale not seen in recent history. The entire southwestern flank collapsed into the ocean creating a tsunami that impacted the shores of Sumatra and Java and took over 400 lives. This ended up being the deadliest volcanic tsunami in Indonesian history since, as you might have guessed, the 1883 eruption. The Kingdom of Tonga is a group of 169 islands nestled about 500 miles off the east coast of Fiji. Just over 100,000 people live scattered among them. In early 2022, the nation made news around the world when the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano erupted. Hunga Tonga is a submarine volcano, meaning it's hidden underwater. On January 15th, after about a month of increased activity, the volcano erupted with such force the ash cloud rose 36 miles into the sky. Satellite imagery also captured the eruption and gives you an even greater idea as to the scale. Even more impressive is the footage that was captured by the Tonga Geological Service. The closest civilization to the volcano is the Tongan capital of Nuku'alofa. It sits about 40 miles away and was heavily impacted during these events. Ash blanketed everything in sight and destroyed an estimated $17 million worth of crops. Like many other volcanoes on this list, the eruption triggered a small tsunami which struck the islands of Tonga. Four people lost their lives here, and two others went missing in Peru. It was an eruption that was truly unlike anything we have seen in modern times. NASA later said that the eruption was hundreds of times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Just try to wrap your head around that. In the end, the eruption ranked at a 5 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, but many argue it will eventually be classified as an extremely rare 6. There are a ton of tiny islands off the southern tip of Japan. One of those islands, Kuchino-Erabujima, is known for its agriculture, fishing, seasonal tourism, and volcanic activity. The only way on or off the island is by boat, so when Mount Shindake decides to erupt, 147 residents must grab the next ferry. Mount Shindake sports a pretty destructive history. It has erupted several times in the past century, including a deadly 1933 blast that resulted in lava flows burying nearby villages. It erupted again in 1980, creating a 2,600-foot fissure on the eastern slope and again in 2014, resulting in a pyroclastic flow. Then, a static camera in 2015 captured its most recent eruption. The wide view of Mount Shindake puts the sheer size of its eruption in perspective. While it's not erupting like a Hollywood movie, the massive ash plume is still pretty impressive. It stretches high into the clouds, eventually getting bigger than the volcano itself. Thankfully, the residents had an 11-day warning before the big boom. 
Scientists saw a spike in seismic activity on May 18th, along with some steam rising from Shindake's crater. Then, on May 29th, the volcano exploded, sending an ash cloud 30,000 feet into the sky. The early warning signs allowed the Japanese Coast Guard to evacuate the islanders in time. Thankfully, they didn't have to take the ferry. I think it's fair to say that the United States is not exactly known for its volcanoes. In the last several hundred years, there have only been three to show any signs of activity in the lower 48 states. But of the eruptions we have had, there is one that stands above the rest. Within the northwestern United States lies a massive mountain range. This range contains some of the most dangerous volcanoes on the continent, including the infamous Mount St. Helens. Starting on March 27th of 1980, multiple volcanic explosions began to occur on Mount St. Helens. These, however, were soon forgotten when the unimaginable occurred on May 18th of that year. This eruption quickly became the most significant to occur in the United States since 1915. The eruption began at around 8.30 a.m. on an unsuspecting Sunday morning. It was preceded by an earthquake, which is believed to have triggered the blast. The force of the eruption caused the entire north face to slide away, allowing pressurized gas and steam to violently escape. The part of the volcano that collapsed fell into the lake below. This sudden displacement of water created one of the largest tsunamis in recorded history. It wasn't long before ash had risen 80,000 feet into the sky. The volcanic mudslides, also known as lahars, traveled for 50 miles, destroying everything in its way. 24 megatons of thermal energy were released, which is roughly 1,600 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The eruption of Mount St. Helens was one of, if not the most catastrophic eruption the United States has ever experienced. Thanks to the remoteness of the landscape, only 57 people perished. Still, even one life for any of these eruptions is too many. Over a billion dollars of damage was done, or about 3.5 billion if adjusted for inflation. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time. You say that I'm psychotic.